Hi, we are preparing the piano uh, for the piece H. H. Holmes and um, we'd like to show you how to prepare the piano to make it easier and more efficient for you. The easiest way we've discovered is um, to put whatever it is between the strings first and then measure the distance. Then you can be accurate with your measure. All right, so if you're not getting the exact sound you want, Say, for instance, this note. You can adjust the sound by either moving the screw backwards or forwards, or by screwing it up or down, which will change the harmonic content of the pitch and also will change the pitch, depending on which way you move it. So just play around. Get um, the piano prepared in this way, but then play around. Uh, uh, adjusting tiny little increments, up or down, forward or backwards, in order to achieve the sound you want. This is a spoolie. <laughs> it's a hair curler, and you can buy them online. So you fold it up like that, fold the bottom of the spoolie up, and then you put that in, and then you push, oh, push. and then you fold the spoolie down, in a true spoolie fashion. The first note we'll prepare is G sharp 3, which will be listed at the top of your key. Now remember that middle C is called C1. So C1, C2, C3, G sharp three is our first note to prepare. So we measure one, two, three, four, five eighths between strings one and two. And if we've done it correctly, it should sound like this. Triple F sharp and triple G, wooden peg, five and a half inches from the hammer between the strings. Triple B flat, three inch carriage bolt, four and three quarters away from the hammer between string one and two. Triple C sharp, three inch carriage bolt, seven inches away from the hammer strike between strings one and two. G sharp three, one inch Phillips head screw, five eighths of an inch away from the hammer strike between strings one and two. A three, one half inch Phillips head screw, seven eighths of an inch away from the hammer strike between strings one and two. A sharp three. One inch brass bolt, 13 sixteenths of an inch away from the hammer strike between strings one and two. B three. One inch flat head wood screw one and five sixteenths inches away from the hammer strike between strings one and two. C4, one half inch brass flat head screw, three quarters of an inch away from the hammer strike between strings one and two. C sharp four, one half inch brass flat head screw, three quarters of an inch away from the hammer strike, between strings one and two. D4, one half inch flat head screw, a half inch away from the hammer strike between strings one and two. D sharp four, one half inch flat head screw, seven sixteenths of an inch away from the hammer strike between strings one and two. E4, one and one half inch rusty wood screw. It must be rusty. 
3 eighths of an inch away from the hammer strike between strings 1 and 2. Between F4 and F sharp 4, a blue spoolie, 7 eighths of an inch to the center of the spoolie away from the hammer strike between F4 and F sharp 4. G4, 1 and 1 quarter inch black Phillips head wood screw, 3 quarters of an inch away from the hammer strike between strings 1 and 2. Between G sharp 4 and A4, a blue spoolie, 7 eighths of an inch to the center of the spoolie between G sharp 4 and A4. A sharp 4, 1 inch flat head screw, 1 half inch away from the hammer strike between strings 1 and 2. B4, 1 and 1 quarter inch black Phillips head wood screw, 3 eighths of an inch away from the hammer strike between strings 1 and 2. C5, a silver cotter pin, 1 quarter inch away from the hammer strike, clipped onto the second string. So the upper portion of the piano from G sharp 3 to C5 sounds like this. And the lower three prepared notes on the piano sound like this.